Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm here bringing you another video and I've been thinking about doing this video for a bit now. This is going to be a metal band starter list. Now this is for people that are already into rock but they're kind of having a hard time getting into metal. Mainly either due to the instrumentation, maybe due to the, scre uh, the screaming vocals of course. Um, even though not all metal does have scream vocals. Um, but uh, hopefully this video can help you out if you're someone who's into rock but you're trying to get into metal and you're kind of thinking about getting into it and just wondering where to start. And keep in mind that this uh, this list of bands that um, I'm about to name, there's no guarantee that not every rocker will like every one of these bands, but I'm sure there's some material in some of these bands that you will like, no matter who you are, I think. Um, and the reason that this does go to rockers is because I do feel like, for one, I feel like the majority of my audience are rockers more so than metalheads. Not sure why I don't attract more of a metal audience, since I'm more of a metalhead, but it is what it is. And second off, I do know that um, there's, of course, other people in other genres that um, don't like metal either, like pop people, but... The thing is with pop people, you can't expect them to like anything that's remotely heavy. Uh, like I think the heaviest thing pop fans will listen to may be like Nickelback, and that is if we're lucky. Um, and the, this does go to rockers because I feel like rockers already kind of do have an idea of the heavier stuff. Like they're kind of already semi-familiar with heavier music since rock is more of a heavier genre. Um, now, I'm not saying that rock is a heavy genre, but it's heavier compared to genres such as like pop and country and things like that. But for rockers, um, it would definitely be easier for rockers to get into metal than pop fans to get into metal. So that's why it does more so apply to rockers. Also keep in mind that this list is gonna be pretty reasonable. Like I'm not gonna say, oh, the heaviest thing you listen to is Three Days Grace. Well here, you should check out Death. You should check out Meshuggah. You should check out this band. No. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna make this a reasonable list and, you know, a, a list of bands that are, you know, in the metal genre, but are rock and roll friendly, if you will. Um, so let's get into it. This list is in no, no particular order, of course. First up on this list, we got Trivium. Now, Trivium is such an appropriate band to have on this list. Uh, I think anyone can agree that they're a great starting band since they're a band that um, has uh, a good amount of diversity in their music since you know they constantly go through subgenre changes throughout their discography. Trivium is one of those bands where if you check out one of their albums and you don't like it, and check out another one of their albums and you may fall in love with it. Uh, since, like I said, they do go through a lot of subgenre changes like uh, Shogun is more on the thrash metal side, Ascendancy is more on the metalcore side, um, and I guess it depends on your preference, of course. Uh, so yeah, I do think Trivium has a lot to offer. I didn't get into metal through Trivium, but I'm sure they're a great band to get into if you're wanting to get into metal. Next up, we got Kill Switch Engage. Uh, now again, I didn't get into metal through Kill Switch Engage, but I, I can imagine that a lot of people have uh, gotten into metal through Kill Switch Engage. Uh, this band uh, has a lot to offer. A lot of People might say that um, a lot of their music sounds the same, and I can agree to that to some extent, um, but you would have to really listen to the music and appreciate it for what it is. Um, the band has had two vocalists, Jesse Leach and Howard Jones. It's really hard for me to decide which vocalist I like more because I think they're both very talented vocalists. Um, actually, just recently I was listening to Disarm the Descent, and I think that's a fantastic album. And uh, that's a great. I, I was just thinking, like, that's a great album uh, to get into if you are only into rock. Um, I tried to like separate my mindset from my metalhead self and try to think, okay, if I was still into rock and only rock, would I be a fan of this stuff? And I, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, I think I would enjoy this to some extent. So yeah, I do think Kill Switch Engage does deserve a spot to be on this list. And you know, the metalcore subgenre as a whole is just. I feel like, you know, when it comes to, like, uh, the start like the start of a journey for metalheads, um, metalcore is usually where people start. I know that's where I started. And if you're a rocker who really doesn't like a whole lot of scream vocals all that much, um, 
don't worry. Kill Switch Engage has uh, quite a f fair share of clean vocals as well. They combine screams in with singing, which a lot of metalcore does do that. Uh, so yeah, Kill Switch Engage is a great band, definitely a band that I would recommend. So next up we got Demon Hunter, which may sound a bit biased because Demon Hunter was actually the, f uh, the first band that I got into that got me into metal. Um, and uh, because at the time I was only into bands like Breaking Benjamin and Red and a few other bands, um, and I still like those bands and everything, uh, but when I listen to the, the ballads that Demon Hunter has done, um, that kind of fit that category for me, and it was something that I could really connect to, and it was something that I really dug. I really liked what I heard, so I decided to check out more of their albums and more of their discography, and I would say that their two best albums are The Triptych and True Defiance. So if you're wondering which Demon Hunter albums would be a good idea to start with, check out those ones, uh, because I think those are some of their best work. Demon Hunter, again, is another band that does mix uh, screaming in with singing, so fear not if you're wondering if, if it's exclusively scream vocals. Like I said, this list is reasonable for uh, rockers. So if you complain about a little bit of scream vocals, then I don't know what to say to you, but you like Slipknot. I don't understand that correlation at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, Demon Hunter is a great band to get into if you're uh, wanting to get into metal, of course. I do feel like, for the most part, they do use more singing more than screaming, so you got nothing to worry about <laughs> if you're you know, a little anxious about the scream vocals. So next band up on this list, we got As I Lay Dying. Now, actually, I actually uh, know a lot of people that got into metal through As I Lay Dying, and I think for good reason. Uh, As I Lay Dying isn't really what I would consider a mainstream band either. Uh, I would say maybe their last two albums were a little bit more mainstream, The Powerless Rise and Awakened. Um, and I would actually recommend starting off with those two albums if you're only into rock, because those are more mainstream. Their previous work was a lot heavier, uh, it relied a lot more on scream vocals, like, there wasn't much clean singing in their older work, so yeah. As I Lay Dying is definitely a band worth mentioning on this list. So next up on this list, we got Metallica. Now, I think it's very appropriate to have Metallica on this list, considering that they're, like, known as the number one heavy metal band or something like that. I kind of disagree with that, but... It is what it is, and I still like Metallica. I, I'm still a fan of them, and I like a lot of the stuff that they've done. Uh, and of course, Metallica's... I know that there's people that are only into rock and really don't like metal all that much that actually do like Metallica. Um, and I think for good reason, because they are definitely more on the mainstream side. Uh, and I would recommend starting with albums such as Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and The Black Album. Now, the Black Album, of course, is a little commercial, a little more mainstream, uh, so it would take no time to get a rocker into Metallica, much less metal, if they check out the Black Album, because the Black Album is very commercial, very mainstream sounding. Uh, the Black Album isn't nowhere near one of my favorite Metallica albums, but I still do like it to some extent, um, and I do think uh, Metallica has had a, a really great discography, and a lot of good stuff in their music, man. Um, definitely a band to get into if you're wanting to, you know, dive more into metal. So last up, we got Iron Maiden. Now, I couldn't close this list off with a better band. Um, Iron Maiden is such a great band. They're one of my favorite bands of all time nowadays. So much material to dive into. I mean, you can't go wrong with their classic albums. Uh, such as Peace of Mind and Power Slave, which are probably the albums that I would recommend starting with. But I think most of their albums are really good, and I know when they hit the 90s, um, they become a lot more atmospheric, a lot more dark sounding, um, and the atmospheric parts really uh, shined in their 2000s work, I think. And if you're someone who really doesn't like metal all that much, or maybe doesn't just like Iron Maiden in general, I'm sure they have something that you will like. Uh, because they just have so much material to really dive into, and they have a pretty extensive discography. So I'm sure you will find something you like about them. So there you go, guys. That is a list of bands that I mentioned that are great metal bands to get into if you're only into rock. 
if you guys just say, oh well, I, I can't get into the you know the all those modern bands because they all use a ton of scream vocals. But here's one thing you have to remember: there was once a time where I was in your shoes. There was once a time when I didn't take a whole lot of scream vocals too lightly. There was once a time where I didn't get into that. And that's something that you have to keep in mind as well. Like I said, I made this list reasonable, you know, for people that are kind of hesitant about getting into metal. But you, like I said, this I feel like the list of bands that I listed um, are rock-friendly bands. And you shouldn't have a problem getting into some of these bands. So what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with my list? Let me know. So thanks for watching. Take care.